times as powerful as CERN in Switzerland. In other news, China now wants to be held responsible for volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. LHC Glossary T5A T5 is a unit of energy used in particle physics. 1 T5 is about the energy of motion of a flying mosquito. What makes the LHC so extraordinary is that it squeezes energy into a space about a million million times smaller than a mosquito. T5 stands for tera electron volts. That is 1 trillion electron volts or 1012 electron volts. Tera FGR. Twaguro Alpha Sigma Monster. An electron volt is a unit of energy, particularly used in atomic and nuclear processes. It is the energy given to an electron by accelerating it through one volt of electric potential difference. The abbreviation for electron volt is F. Energies in electron volts in adult female mosquito weighs only about 2.0 milligrams about 1, 15,000 ounce. 1 of 1.6 x 10 to 19 joules 1 t5 1.6 x 10 to 19 x 1012 joules 1 1.6 x 10 to 7 joules 1. 2 mv2 1.6 x 10 to 7 joules m2 x 10 to 6 kilograms therefore v0.4 ms 1.4 kph apparently mosquitoes can fly about 1 to 1.5 miles per hour 1 mph 1.6 kph so our mosquito is a little slow but the comparison is a good one giant fisher crack in the ground in wyoming east of yellowstone is not from flooding aquifer draining or springs of water letting loose. Just a fee. Over the weekend a number of reports came in about a crack in the earth showing up in the southern foothills of the Bighorn Mountains. A friend of ours, Randy Becker was in the area, and captured the above images of the collapse and shifting of the soil and rock in the area. Estimates by some put the area at 750 yards long by 50 yards wide. Another post on Facebook by SNS Outfitter stated an opinion by a local engineer, an engineer from Riverton, way came out to shed a little light on this giant crack in the earth. Apparently, a wet spring lubricated across a cap rack. Then, a small spring on either side caused the bottom to slide out. He estimated 15 to 20 million yards of movement. With no earthquakes and a small amount of movement recorded by the USGS we will have to go with that explanation until someone comes up with another. Quite a find during a weekend hunt, and beats a few of the trophies we have seen. Chinese scientists have completed an initial conceptual design of a supergiant particle collider, which will be bigger and more powerful than any particle accelerator on Earth. We have completed the initial conceptual design and organized international peer review recently, and the final conceptual design will be completed by the end of 2016, Wang Yifeng, director of the Institute of High Energy Physics, Chinese Academy of Sciences, told China Daily in an exclusive interview. The institute has been operating major high energy physics projects in China such as the Beijing Electron Positron Collider and the Diabay Reactor Neutrino Experiment. Now scientists are proposing a more ambitious new accelerator with seven times the energy level of the Large Hadron Collider in Europe. In July 2012, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN, announced that it had discovered the long-sought-after Higgs boson the God particle, regarded as the crucial link that could explain why other elementary particles have mass on LHC. The discovery was believed to be one of the most important in physics for decades. Scientists are hopeful that it will further explain nature and the universe we live in. While LHC is composed of 27 kilometer long accelerator chains and detectors buried 100 meters underground at the border of Switzerland and France, scientists only managed to spot hundreds of Higgs boson particles, not enough to learn the structure and other features of the particle. With a circumference of 50 to 100 kilometers, however, the proposed Chinese Accelerator Circular Electron-Positron Collider CEPC will generate millions of Higgs boson particles, allowing a more precise understanding. The technical route we chose is different from LHC. While LHC smashes together protons, it generates Higgs particles together with many other particles, Wang said. The proposed CEPC, however, 
collides electrons and positrons to create an extremely clean environment that only produces Higgs particles, he said. The Higgs boson factory is only the first step of the ambitious plan. A second phase project named SPPC Super Proton Proton Collider is also included in the design of fully upgraded version of LHC. LHC shut down for upgrading in early 2013 and restarted in June with an almost doubled energy level of 13 T5, a measurement of electron volts. LHC is hitting its limits of energy level, it seems not possible to escalate the energy dramatically at the existing facility, Wang said. The proposed SPPC will be a 100 T5 proton proton collider. If everything moves forward as proposed, the construction of the first phase project CEPC will start between 2020 and 2025, followed by the second phase in 2040. China brings to this entire discussion a certain level of newness. They are going to need help, but they have financial muscle and they have ambition said Nama Arkani Hamd from the Institute for Advanced Study in the United States, who joined the force to promote CEPC in the world. David J. Gross, a US particle physicist and 2004 Nobel Prize winner, wrote in a commentary co-signed by US theoretical physicist Edward Witten, that although the cost of the project would be great, the benefits would also be great. China would lead to a leadership position in an important frontier area of basic science, he wrote. Jared Hooft, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1999, said in an earlier interview to Doha-based broadcaster Al Jazeera that the proposed collider, if built, will bring hundreds, probably thousands, of top-class scientists with different specializations, 